I'm kind of struggling with the fact that uh, I haven't been in the best place mentally these last couple of days due to an injury. I uh, always like to have some kind of positive message even though sometimes they might seem like I'm ranting a little bit when I'm talking. Um, I'm struggling right now to find any kind of silver lining. When things happen in your life that you can't control, that uh, can often be perceived as bad things, uh, it's always best to try and find a silver lining. And right now, I'm still trying to find that silver lining, which is a little bit difficult uh, mentally to kind of overcome um, whatever's coming at you at the time. It's been probably just over a month since my meet. Uh, I haven't had exactly the best success or the, the best time training since then. At this week, I have now injured my back Saturday, which would have been my lumbar due to hips with my glutes not firing properly and my hamstrings and my lower back picking up the slack because of it. I did chiropractor on Monday, I did IMS, I did massage yesterday, and slowly started to feel a little bit better, but definitely you can feel in the hip that things are just not right there. I've been taking it, you know, fairly easy. And then uh, issues with uh, where if you haven't followed me or you're kind of new to my journey, I have herniated discs in my uh, neck, which often flare up and cause mega issues to do with uh, nerves and uh, swelling, muscle cramping, uh, they just seizing. It's been probably eight years of chronic back pain for me. The hardest part I find is the assumption people make that you're not putting the effort into uh, reducing the injury or reducing the pain. And it's uh, a fairly big misconception that uh, you becomes very tiresome to re-explain over and over again to people that it's not the power lifting, it, it's the form and the things that you're doing that are affecting, uh, affecting my back. So uh, despite whatever weight's on the bar, um, I've thrown my back just handling a 45 pound plate uh, to literally just turning the wrong way and having it go awry from there. If I wasn't powerlifting, I would still be in the same amount of pain, but uh, it becomes more bothersome, I guess, and more tiring when you have goals that you're wishing to reach and you have injuries that are impeding on them. There's, there's a feeling of helplessness that really comes with uh, dealing with chronic pain. I've never wanted something so bad in my life to be successful at something and put so much work and have it just be an uphill battle the whole time. <sighs> oh, I really didn't want to have this turn into this. But there is some kind of positive to this because it's really made me realize how lucky of the support circle that I have around me. Truly have met amazing people who have really become guiding lights in my life. And I've really managed to trim a lot of negative out and it shows in the way that I feel support and lifted up in these moments that I feel like this. <laughs> I want people to know that it's okay to feel this way and it's okay to be human and that you're not alone in the way that you feel. But just keep your mind in an open place. It doesn't have to necessarily be a positive place, but be open and, you know, like today, really realizing the amazing people that I'm surrounded with and how lucky I am to have come as far as I have. 
sorry. I really didn't want this to be this, this emotional. But this is kind of how it is. This is, this is, this is it. I feel down and I feel upset. I feel in pain. But it's just gonna fuel me to work that much harder. When you feel like this and you feel down, like things aren't gonna get better, just realize that these are the defining moments when you persevere and you push yourself. I'm not gonna be reckless and I'm not gonna just push through the pain. That's not what I'm talking about. That's the worst possible thing you can do. I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing before, working with a team of people who want to make me better, who are professionals, who know what they're doing. It just depends whether I want it or not. And I fucking want it. I want it bad. Trust me, you're not gonna see me disappear. You're gonna see me rise. Keep it sleazy. I'm sorry I cried. My nose is... ugh.